What's going on guys? It's Jeff for Premium Aquatics and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hanna Instruments Salinity Tester. What's going on guys? We're back with a, another video and if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where we take a look at new products each and every week to help you make an informed decision whether or not that product is right for you, your reef tank, and your budget. And today we're going to be looking at the Hanna Instruments Salinity Tester. So let's jump into it. Alright folks, what's going on? We have today the Salinity Tester and before we actually open this guy up, a couple interesting things about this product is that it is completely waterproof and it floats which are pretty interesting things uh, to consider when you're talking about a digital tester so let's take a look what is under the hood so it comes with a very nice case and one great thing about this tester is that it also comes with the calibration fluid and you have quite a few packets in there which is very very helpful so before you turn on your salinity tester for the first time, it's important to rinse the electrodes prior to turning it on, and that's per the instructions of the manual. So we have a glass of RODI water here, and that's what it's calling for. And what we're going to do is basically take our electrodes and run it in the water. We're going to consider that rinsed. We're going to go and take our RODI water put it over there then it recommends a soft tissue to be used for drying put the cap back on and now we're going to turn it on when you first turn it on it's going to give you a reading of the battery which is saying it's 95 percent life remaining on the battery and it's going to remain at the last settings that you picked for your salinity tester and we're going to get into how to change those settings in a minute so the first time that you use the tester, uh, you want to make sure that you rinse it with DI water prior to turning it on, and then they recommend that you calibrate it the very first time. Now, we already kind of hit on this, but they provide the calibration solution, which I think is very helpful, and they recommend that you calibrate the salinity tester every month. So we're going to hold this upright and Cut it. All right, so we're going to remove the cap and hit the calibration button. Once it's showing this, it's asking for the calibration fluid. We're going to put it into the packet. When it says use, make sure the electrodes are submersed. Then hit the power button and we're good to go. Now I'm going to rinse the probe in the RODI water, making sure that we get all the calibration solution off from the tester and we're going to dry it with tissue. All right, so I have a jug of water from my mixing barrel and we're going to take the salinity tester, place it in here. I've already taken a reading with my refractometer and we're gonna give this a second to balance out but it is exactly what my refractometer said and that is 39 parts per thousand it's still reading in Celsius which we're going to show you how to adjust that here just in a second um, I prefer to measure salinity in as opposed to specific gravity uh, that's just kind of the way that I am but you can also change the Hanna salinity tester to read specific gravity as well and it's pretty simple to do all right so now we're going to look at changing the readouts on the salinity tester from parts per thousand in Celsius to specific gravity and Fahrenheit and how you do that is by turning over the salinity tester we're going to unlock the battery door compartment all you have to simply do is turn it it does turn relatively rough and that's due to the fact that it is sealed when you're replacing the battery door compartment it's very important to make sure that it is flush and sealed because that's going to remove its waterproof properties if it's not properly reinstalled right there there's a little black button next to the unlock symbol and we're going to press that and it's pretty responsive you're going to hear it click and feel it click 
then we're going to turn it over and now we need to make our adjustments so currently measuring parts per thousand and we want specific gravity once we've reached the unit in which we want it to measure at we're going to hit the power button now it wants to set the temperature do we want celsius or fahrenheit we currently want fahrenheit so we hit the power button now it's set now you have the auto off option. What this is going to do is you have the choice between 8 minutes, 60 minutes, or disabling the auto off function. What we want it is at the 8 minutes that's relatively uh, reasonable. So we're going to hit the power button. And now once we've reinstalled the battery door compartment, there, it's locked. We're measuring in Fahrenheit and specific gravity. If you want to take a look at the HANA Instruments Salinity Tester, there's going to be a link down in the description below where you can do some more research or even pick one up for yourself. That is going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the thumbs up and I'll see you next time right here with a brand new video.